Edward was getting old. His bearings were worn, and he clanked as he puffed along. He was taking empty cattle cars to a market town. The sun shone, birds sang, but Edward was heading for trouble. He puffed, screamed the cars. Edward puffed and clanked. The cars rattled and screamed. Some cows were grazing nearby. They were not used to trains. The noise and smoke disturbed them. As Edward clanked by, they broke through a fence and ran across the line. A coupling was broken and some cars were left behind. Edward felt a jerk, but didn't take much notice. He was used to cattle cars, he thought. He was at the next station before either he or his driver realized what had happened. When Gordon and Henry heard about the accident, they laughed and boasted. Old Toby was cross. Some days later, Gordon rushed through Edward's station. Puffed Gordon, grumbled his coaches. A long stretch of line lay ahead. In his distance was a bridge. It seemed to Gordon that there was something on the bridge. His driver thought so too. He said, and shut off steam, said Gordon. He moved slowly onto the bridge, but the cow wouldn't shoo. She had lost her calf and felt lonely, she said sadly. Everyone tried to send her away, but she wouldn't go. Henry arrived. Henry backed away nervously. At the next station, Henry's conductor told them about the cow and warned the signalman that the line was blocked, said a porter. At the bridge, Bluebell was very pleased to have her calf again, and the porter led them away, whispered Gordon and Henry to each other. They felt rather silly, but the story soon spread, chuckled Edward. Said Gordon. Said Edward. Gordon felt somehow that Edward saw only too well.